start this video. If the lighting is super weird, I apologize. It's like a thunderstorm, rainstorm right now, but it keeps like stopping and then starting again. So if you randomly hear like giant drips or like all of a sudden it gets super dark, that is why. And uh, I'm not Mother Nature, unfortunately, so I do not control this. So bear with me for this video. I'm sorry guys, I'm really bad at math. <sighs> <sighs> hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the 25 bookish facts about me tag. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but I've seen so many people do it, and I was like, you know, I know 25 bookish facts about myself, so why not share them with all of you if you guys are interested? So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> Number one is that the first books that really got me into reading were the House of Night series by PC and Kirsten Cast. I read them back when I was like 12 or 13. I actually took all of my cousin's books. They're not actually all mine. I have all 12 of them. But the first seven or eight, I believe, I stole from my cousin and just never gave them back. So, uh... Thanks, Elizabeth. You rock. Number two is that my favorite author recently since I read The Lunar Chronicles is Marissa Meyer. I didn't really have a favorite author. I think I would say that it was Louise Renison, but she recently passed away, so she's not going to put out any more books. And I know Marissa Meyer is, so I think I'm changing my allegiance. But I also really like Cassandra Clare. My favorites always change, so... Next year it's probably going to be something different. Number three is my favorite genre is thrillers. A lot of people think that it is YA. I just think they're lots of fun and I love when I can't not turn pages of a book, like I have to find out what happens, and YA's don't really do that for me, so definitely thrillers are my fave. Number four, my least favorite genre is nonfiction. I just, I can't get into it. I don't think I've ever read a nonfiction book all the way through. Number five, this year I read my first memoir, which was Tyler Oakley's Binge, and I absolutely loved it. And I want to read more memoirs, so if you have any similar suggestions to Binge, let me know, and I would love to read it. Number six, a lot of people are going to hate me for this, especially Molly. I have never read Harry Potter. One day it's going to happen, just today is not the day, people. Today is not the day. Number seven is I 100% judge books by its covers. If you guys say that you don't judge a book by its cover, you're a liar. Because I guarantee that you do. Even if it's subconsciously. If you don't like the cover of a book, you ain't gonna read that book. Don't you lie to me. Don't lie. Number eight is I prefer hardcovers to paperbacks. It's, it's just, I don't like reading paperbacks because you're able to like crack the spine. Which leads me to number nine. I hate cracking the spines of books. I will literally sit there and I will read a book like this so that I don't have to crack the back of the book. I just, I can't stand it when people do it. I can't. Number 10 is, I have not read a classic book since high school. I think the last classic book I read was Lord of the Flies in grade 12 English. I stole that book too, so I'm a thief. Number 11 is, I hate DNFing books. It, like, physically pains me to do it. I think I've only DNFed, like, one book in my life. I feel bad about it because I say that I hate a book, but I haven't read the whole book, so really, you can't hate a book if you haven't actually read the book. Do you get what I'm saying? I just, I can't do it. It's like a problem inside my soul. I can't. Number 12 is that I really hate long books. It took me so long to read The Mortal Instruments because the books are so long and I have so many like series on my shelves that I just won't touch because I'm like, that book is 400 pages long, which does not sound that big when you think about it, but just something in my head, I'm like, if it is over 300 pages, I, I would rather read a short book. I guess I'm intimidated by it. Eventually I'll get to all those books, but we don't know when with JN. We don't know when. This is probably wrong, but we're going to go with number 13. I will use pretty much anything as a bookmark. As long as it fits in the book and it closes, Gucci, we gonna use that as a bookmark. But I am a sucker for pretty bookmarks. I would much rather have a pretty bookmark. But you know, when desperate times call for desperate measures, if there's like a freaking bag of chips that's empty, Jay's gonna use that as a bookmark. Probably not a bag of chips, but you get what I'm saying, I would use anything. Number 15, 14? I've lost count. Maybe this is 25 facts, maybe it's not, who knows. But I cannot read in a car. Unless I, like, cover my eyes like this, just something about the movement makes me feel so sick. Because I just can't see things moving beside me, I can do it, but otherwise I get car sick. But I've never thrown up. Just, I don't feel well. Number 16 is my favorite thing to drink while reading is iced coffee. I always have iced coffee when I'm reading. It's an addiction, and I have no shame in it. Number 17 is that I need it to be pretty much completely quiet in order to read, or I will read the same thing over and over again and not realize that I'm reading the same thing over and over again. Like, my mom will want to read with me if I'm downstairs, but she'll, like, turn on the TV, so I'll have to go upstairs to read, and she always gets upset because I'm like, girl, I cannot do it if there's background noise. It's just not a thing. Like, some people listen to music while they read. How do you do that? I can't do that. You're like a god, basically. Number 18 is that I cannot read more than one book at a time. I have to read one book or I get the stories completely mixed up. And I will be like, Winnie the Pooh fighting dragons. Like, it just 
can't do it. Can't do it. That'd be a good story, though. Winnie the Pooh fighting dragons. I would read it. Number 19 is that audiobooks are slowly taking over my life. I, I recently just started listening to audiobooks back in February when I had a concussion and I wasn't allowed to read. And now, like, they hold a special place in my heart. I love audiobooks. I can, like, sit there and I can color and listen to a book at the same time and it's, like, double whammy. And if you don't listen to audiobooks, I would highly recommend listening to audiobooks. It's amazing. It's, like, life-changing experience. Number 20 is that I have never in my life pre-ordered a book. I know, it's shocking, but your girl does not like spending money, so we shop at the thrift store, which means no pre-ordering allowed. Number 21 is that I rarely ever buy a book at full price. I think the only book I've ever bought at full price that I can remember buying at full price is A Winter by Mercer Meyer because I wanted it really badly, and I'm pretty sure my mom bought it, not me, so it doesn't even really count. 22 is that I have never reread a book ever in my life, not one. I don't reread books, I would prefer to just continue on to the next book that I want to read. I just feel like there are too many books in this world to reread things. And also I just really don't like knowing what happens in a book, so if I've read the book once, I don't need to read it again. 23 is that I always make up in my head what a character looks like. I don't know if everybody does this, but like it could be something that doesn't even relate to the character at all, but in my head I'm like, nope, this is what they're like, and this is how they are. And then this leads me to number 24. I really don't like movie adaptations of books because it changes the way that I think of the characters. For instance, like Triss from Divergent. I had this picture in my head of Triss, and then I saw that movie, and now I cannot get that actress out of my head, and everything about that actress is Triss, and I'm like, no, that's not what she was like at all, and it just bothers me so much. It's like a pet peeve. I just, I hate not having my own idea of a character. Honestly, I have lost track of what number this is, so we're gonna say that it's 24. I don't know. I've never been to a book signing before, ever in my life, and I probably won't go to one because not a lot of authors come to Hamilton. Maybe if there's like a book signing in Toronto, I'll go, but realistically, probably not, because I don't leave my house unless I have class or basketball, because I have no friends. I'm not sure if I should be ashamed of this. This might be 25. This might be 26. You might be getting a bonus fact. Who really knows? JN doesn't. But number 25 slash 26 is that I am very good at guessing the ending of books. Which is funny because being able to guess the ending of a book is one of my biggest pet peeves. It's very rare where I cannot figure out what's going to happen by the end. So when that does happen, the book usually becomes one of my favorite books because I just get so surprised that I didn't call the ending. Alright guys, so those were 25, maybe, maybe 26 bookish facts about me. It might have even been 24, you know? I don't know. I'm not good at math. I apologize in advance for the hot mess that was this video. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!